I love a marriage ends with my death. For you, everything. That's a real shame, that is, actually. The realm is in a state of war. The Iron Throne is embroiled in a great conflict. What shall we do? Defend allegiance is our duty. Okay, well, that's a big shame. And it looks like he has ice and long claw now. 22. Yeah, he's not... He's, he's pretty good um, leader, I think, compared to most people in Westeros. It's, it's not the worst. We have a weak claim on the twins now, though. That's a real shame that John... Ah. He died way too soon. Way, 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 way too soon. Never should have died. But Byam is going to prove himself. Prove himself to be just like his father. We need to get married, though, definitely now. I should probably find someone to educate my sister. She's good at diplomacy. And that's really it. So we'll get someone... Ooh. Perfect, you're good at diplomacy. She'll go with you. Once this war's over, we'll uh, marry my... Well, me now. Bye, am. Ah, oh, that's slightly annoying, actually. But, you know, this is... You know, gotta go with what happens. Never gonna restart a Let's Play. Or, well, maybe. But never gonna restart, you know, like a game like this. I hate doing that. Because you, you need to live with the consequences. That's what these sorts of games are best at, you know. These sorts of games, you know, losing can be really fun. It's like football manager, you know, you could be losing, but it could be really fun. Things can't always go your way. Otherwise games like this would just be boring and what would be the point in playing? She's an ambition. You gotta take in some fact formidable fighter. Um Yeah, we wanna become a formidable fighter. He fights with two Valerian steel swords. There's no way you can take that before we take this, is there? Okay, well, he's leaving anyway. We'll just take this and the war will be over. What are they? They're all just like hanging down there. Are they getting ships or something? My lord, we rounded up everybody we could find. What should we do with them? Clap the leader in irons and leave them here. Prison the entire family. These people are useless, leave them be. Clap the leader, yeah. He was stupid enough, you know, to declare war on the Iron Throne. Yeah, he doesn't he shouldn't be in this sort of position. My lord, the keep has fallen. Yeah. Okay, there we go. The war's over. Looks like he proved himself here. Probably got ourselves onto peaceful land. The wars between the great powers in Westeros have subsided for now. Until the next time. Okay, now we go to the direct vassals. I can't believe Daenerys didn't have a kid. I mean, she could still obviously, you know. I've decided to bestow upon you the title of Warden of the North. You are hereby charged with defence of the North in the event of foreign threat. Thank you. A great honour. The Targaryens and the Starks are going to have a great relationship now. We are bound by blood and blah blah blah. Core family of Hyden? They were in Hyden in the first place? Okay, now we need to look for a wife for you. Um, Lady of Last Eve, we could marry an Umbar when she's old enough. Fowler, Dane, we could marry a Dane. Wild Chester. Yeah. Okay, we'll have to wait and see. Invites me to a grand feast. I never have bloody feasts. Why is it with you Daenerys and feasts? We've got the Iron Islands, you know, still independent. And you're just having feasts. Ah, she offers to educate my heir. Yeah, let's go on. Might as well. Let's see what happens. <laughs> How can I say no to Daenerys? Littlefinger. His first son. 
He's not turned out so good. Lord Crom or Pike? He's looking quite a good marshal. Wow, and looking strong as well. Or on Crow's Eye's son there. Get bloody pregnant, you... Oh, my God. She's just making me angry. Look at those places she has. Wow. She's really been cleaning up. There's no other laws we can really marry into. That could possibly be that useful. Okay, feast is over. Let's, we need to marry someone of our own. One of these guys, because they helped us out quite a lot. I couldn't really see anyone in the car starks. Who is this? Can you end your plot, please, Woolfield? Umbars. She could be quite good to marry. Ah, uh, brother was small, John. Ah, uh, he's another one that was really good, actually. See or sure? Ah, uh, she's married. They haven't got very good stats, though. No one really has very good stats. I don't think I'm gonna get anyone with good stats. I just have to hope that my kids inherit my genes, I guess. I could marry her. She doesn't seem too bad. Glovers were quite good, actually. They were quite useful. Okay, they married that daughter. And that Umbug girl actually has quite okay stats overall. We'll, we'll wait a year till she's old enough and we'll see. 27th of December, okay. Who's actually got the Bolton house? I... Roos Bolton. Ramsey Snow. Okay, so... Ramsey Snow's son has got the Dreadfort. We need to sort that out at some point. His declaration of legitimacy technically is invalid. Because that king was invalid. So that means you're invalid, Roos. So we're going to need to destroy you and your house. At some point. Huh. I've already done that, didn't I? I don't know why they're in hiding anyway. Come on, I'm hiding. It's not even working. I have no idea what's going on there. Winter is coming already. Wow. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on there. Hopefully, though. Be pregnant, be pregnant, please. Please, no. 36. I've, uh, I'm sure I've seen someone at 38 get pregnant, but I don't think I've ever seen anyone above 38 get pregnant. Uh, Lord Willis, why was you inherited Lordship of White Knife and other titles? Okay. Okay. Need Master Whispers. Ooh, you're not too bad. And he's a genius. Wow. We should probably get you married to someone. Marry someone. <laughs> so we can at least pass on your genes. Not to me, you stupid. Damn, she's way too old. Okay, I need a. Dear Bunte. Debutante, or whatever they call it. Okay, we need to we need to keep your DNA somehow. There we go. Marry her. <laughs> Ooh, pool is he's much better. Ooh, the Lady Val is starting to lose her stats. 
fabricate claims. Um, okay, we're doing there, weren't we? Okay, Winterfell. Wrong thing. Yep, uh, don't think there's anything else. Hylish with a cross in as well, okay. North legitimacy, okay. Can you end your plot, please, Mr. Wall? Oh, yeah, shit, I was going to check on the Umbo girl. Uh, duh. Will she even do a normal marriage, actually? She might not actually do a normal marriage. She would. We'd marry an Umba. I like the Umbas. And she's brother. She's um, sister to Small John. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's, just, let's keep one of our courtiers happy. So I can't see many alliances I can get from anywhere down south. All that we want. There's no way... We don't marry a Lannister. Okay. Host a wedding feast. Ah, a, a large merchant caravan from the distant lands has arrived at the gates of your stronghold. The leader, a jovial man of massive girth, pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements for the night. Uh, I think I'm kind, so... Yeah, we'll let them in. And I'm going to have a wedding feast. We're going to have a wedding feast. Because, you know, we are the son of Jon Snow. And this will prove to everyone that everything's going back to normal. We're not usurpers, we're Starks. I've given the orders for a wedding to be hosted in Winterfell. Let the preparations begin. As evening falls, the fat merchant sits by the fire and regales you and the rest of the court with stories of his travels. His appetite seems insatiable, but as you do not wish to prove a poor host, you order your servants to bring a second servant. Tell us more about this mythical realm of Yiti. Yiti, or Yaitai. Dawn breaks and the caravan prepares to move on. The merchant insists on leaving you a gift as thanks for your great hospitality. He shouts a terse command in a foreign language, and a young man comes forward. This eunuch will serve you well, the merchant says. His loyalty to you, his new master, shall be beyond reproach. I accept your gift. Uh, I will accept it. What's his name? Saphos. Let's have a look. Oh, I still have that guy from Bloody Skirt and Pass. Uh... Ah, let's see what you're like. Okay, he's absolutely... Yeah, he's, he's not good at all. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay, speaking of that guy in my cells, he's dead. The best part about holding a wedding is organising the whole event. I will spend lavishly to show our house's power. I will spend enough to make it nice. I don't want to spend too much. Yeah, we're going to spend lavishly. Six gold is like nothing. Uh, most preparations for the wedding have been made. Now I've only to send out the invitations. There we go. Hopefully everyone comes. The guests have finally arrived. All is ready. The servants have worked day and night to prepare and decorate the dance hall. And the castles never look lovelier. Welcome to the wedding. What happened there? Oh, I've actually clicked on it. Uh... I've discovered a plot where Lord Walton of Walterwood seeks to fabricate a claim on the north. Yeah, maybe maybe you should do that. I, you know, I'm a nice guy. I've got the kind trait. But, you know, there's only so much shit I will take. Oh, my God. Daenerys, please. Just have a baby. God damn it. Okay, let's look at it. Okay, some islands have still got it completely. Vows have been exchanged and the bedding went great and everyone agreed it was the greatest wedding uh, feast held in some time. I have great fun and so did everyone else. Yay! 
Lord Paramount Bayern the first wedding is over and it's time to begin the long way home. After the music and the entertainment and the warmth, the real world suddenly feels cold and hostile. So yeah. Everything's quite quiet now. And I have a wife. Uh, Umba. I have ice. Long claw. I fight with two Valerian steel swords in hand. A young tanced artist from Winterfell proposes to paint an iconic portrait of Lord Paramount, Jon Snow. Of course we're going to bloody pay for that. This will be grand in the main hall. How can we not pay for that? He's our father. He, you know, saved Westeros in a way. He saved it from the Lannisters. Even though the Lannisters are still quite strong. They have three places. I still can't believe that. It's getting colder and colder. People can no longer work the fields in Cressus Keep. Actually, yeah, we should do up Cressus Keep a bit. Make it a stronghold beyond the wall. I've risen so fast to the top that other people have guard me with envy. Robar begged me to help him become as successful as me. It was almost disgusting how he admired my ambition and success. Ah, uh, my sisters, my um, aunts, um, son. I'll teach you, but I gotta charge you. I can make a dragon pit beyond the wall. Small wildling barracks. Wow. Let's get some basic defences. Ah, oh, my hand. Yes, my wife is pregnant. See, Daenerys, that's how you do it. She knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. Okay. Halleck's legitimate. No. I really don't care. Okay, well, how's on my sister? She's 12 at the moment. My brother, he's coming along okay. Can I force him to train? No, I can't. Because he's not my son, okay. I only force your, I guess, your sons to train. Can you end your plot, please? Thank you. Okay. Please, Denise, please, please, Denise. Please be baby baby no ah. and she's thirty seven. I can't see it now. <laughs> oh mercy. That's not good. That's not good. Let's see if there's any factions I would like to start. Uh, independence, uh, Marcel. There's no point in independence while, you know, Rickon's married to Daenerys. Choose a plot. Probably a claim on the Kingdom of the Iron Throne. Okay. Kill the Crossing. All the people of the Crossing. <laughs> A lot of phrase we can kill apparently. Of the North dead? Okay, she's actually got a picture now, okay. Kill plot the kill the dragon. That's an interesting one. But we wouldn't want to do that because she might have a baby, maybe? <laughs> okay, nothing really nothing really that interesting I want. Stop back. When was I back in your plot? What? What are you doing? Can you please stop? Yeah. Let's look at my wife then. Okay, she didn't give a good stats in the end. But like I said, there was like no one with good stats at all, to be honest. But she will give us fine young sons. Who are, you know, they're related. Maybe, maybe like in real life, maybe stats jump a generation. Maybe it's like, you know, your grandfather. 
And as we all can see, okay, he's not very good either. <laughs> but he's got good martial, so you know, maybe maybe he'll maybe our children will inherit his strong. Imagine that strong Starks. Okay. Oops, something's going on there. Okay, nothing really interesting. Just a small little revolt. Uh, fist of the first men. Okay, yeah, let's use it. Okay, so we're going to take the fist of the first men. I guess I should lead. Um, let's have Val. She is a wildling. She knows. Um, she's a former wildling. Let's say she knows you know, the terrain and stuff. She should be good for this. Uh, what's this? Um, we like to back our plot to investigate Hanex. Oh my God! No, I don't care. Okay. Oh yeah, so I got on pause, I did not realise. I was wondering why no one was moving, I was like, what? Dare is please be pregnant. Please, no! Okay, a daughter's been born. Shearer. Okay. Your vassal, Lady Glover of Deepwood, humbly asks for your help against the aggression of a vassal. Okay. I'm assuming it's you, is it? Didn't I ask you to end your plot? Yeah, I did. Okay, I'd already done it. <laughs> Ooh. My lord, I'm afraid I cannot end this war. My cause is just and as such you have no right to command me to stand down. Kingsgrave. Attacking Chief, you're on the first man in Northern... Okay, not that one. Uh, attacking Lady, a deal with the Wolfswood in King's Grove War to install Bannon in Wolfswood. The Woods. Uh, technically, he is. So I don't know what you're talking about. I will grant a claim on King's Grove. You will choose who receives the claim. Okay, maybe I'll allow it. Just no. You were branded as a traitor. I'm kind and ambitious. Yes, yeah, do that. Who should be granted the claim on Kingsgrove for the treason of Lord Poffer Boyle? Grant claim on Kingsgrove to the liege of the traitor. Grant claim on Kingsgrove to yourself. Nah, deal with that one. I'm starting to think Liana might fancy me. Nope, it's not appropriate. Wow, that's the that's the same person my father thought fancied him. And she's bloody old. I have a young, great girl who's an Umba. Why the hell would I go to her? That old woman. Okay, I think my computer's starting to lag now. <laughs> Not sure how long I've been recording. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop it for here now. Um, a lot of things have happened. A lot of things are new. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed up till now. Uh, sorry about the Daenerys. Come on, Daenerys, please, in this last, like, two days. No. Okay, she's 38. I can't see us getting the dragons. Um, if any of you guys know what happened to the dragons afterwards, I'm assuming it goes to her heir. But if it says Littlefinger, who's obviously not of her family, does it, the dragons just go to him? And obviously he's old, so he's probably going to die. I don't know. It'll be nice to see what you guys think. Um, tell me, obviously, if you do know. But if you guys are enjoying this, obviously, check out the channel. Check out the other series and stuff. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys about. I've been Paradox. And this is me saying goodbye to Jon Snow, who's dead. Yep, he's dead. Bye.